Friends uh, were shocked and horrified by uh, the stabbing last night of Bishop Emmanuel at the Christ the Good Shepherd Church uh, in Wakeley in Western Sydney. Um, we obviously wish the Bishop a speedy and full recovery. I want to acknowledge uh, the parishioners at the church who went to the aid of the Bishop and obviously uh, their bravery uh, should be acknowledged. I want to say thank you very much uh, to um, the police who were in attendance. It was obviously a volatile situation and the police themselves suffered injury and damage to police vehicles and property, etc. Um, as we know, violence of any form is uh, not to be tolerated. Uh, I also uh, want to make it very clear uh, that an act of violence in a place of worship is completely unacceptable in our country. It doesn't matter whether you disagree vehemently with a priest or with a, an imam, with a rabbi, uh, with any person, uh, violence is never the answer. And the alleged perpetrator here obviously is in police custody and police and ASIO uh, will have uh, other comments in relation to that. Uh, I've written to the Prime Minister this morning uh, offering this full support of the Coalition uh, on any issues that uh, the government might think need to be addressed. In the aftermath of uh, the tragedy that we saw in Bondi, that we've seen in Western Sydney last night, uh, I have also asked for a briefing from the Director General of ASIO and the Australian Federal Police Commissioner uh, in relation to these matters and the current threat level uh, as it uh, currently operates uh, in Australia. Uh, we should also send our thoughts and prayers again to those in uh, who are still in hospital, uh, some in the intensive care unit uh, off the back of the horrible, horrible circumstances at Bondi on the weekend. Uh, we wish all of those people uh, a speedy recovery as well. Uh, the trauma of those families who have lost loved ones uh, is something that we just can't contemplate. And I want to make sure that uh, every assistance is provided to them as, uh, as I know it is. Um, I also met yesterday uh, with people from the Jewish community in Melbourne spent time with uh, members from that community. We know that the incidence of anti-Semitism in our country is up over 700 per cent and that those community members are really feeling fearful in their own communities. These, these are Australian citizens. We've got armed guards at synagogues. People are worried about congregating at uh, places of worship and uh, at supermarkets, etc. Um, so it's a volatile period and you can understand the anxiety that Australians will be feeling, uh, particularly trying to explain what's happening in our country in the last week uh, to young children. Uh, what we know is that uh, Australia is a peaceful country. Uh, we've never had uh, civil conflict as part of our history and we don't want it part of our present or our future. Uh, people come from all parts of the world to our country and we've been uh, an incredible success story. And if people have differences, uh, if they have differences of opinion, uh, if they agree, disagree or agree with people, uh, it needs to be done in a respectful way and we need to remind ourselves of that. I want to acknowledge the leaders uh, within the community who have stood up uh, and called for calm, particularly from younger people, uh, and that is a very important message for those younger people to heed. Uh, I also want to acknowledge uh, the work of Di Lee and uh, Frank Carbone, uh, both of whom I've spoken to this morning, and uh, acknowledge that um, they are very strong and powerful leaders in their local community and, uh, and their words should be heeded by, uh, by people in those communities. I'm very happy to take any questions. Would you say that the war in Gaza is making terror incidents like what we've seen more likely in Australia? Well, that, that's really a question for Mike Burgess. Uh, as we know, uh, the Director General looks at the intelligence uh, that's collected here in Australia, but also uh, the intelligence that they collect uh, overseas, uh, including from our partners, including, as you know, Israel, who's a a trusted ally and uh, has provided intelligence to us in the past which has thwarted terrorist attacks against Australian interests so importantly, most importantly against uh, those, those targets against uh, men and women wearing the Australian uniform. Uh, so that, that's a, a question ultimately for uh, the Director General of ASIO um, but I'll make this point, uh, we need to make sure that uh, in our country we don't bring um, problems from around the world. Uh, we have a peaceful country, we celebrate it every week uh, and particularly uh, in places of worship, they are sacrosanct and it doesn't matter whether it's a church or whether it's a synagogue, uh, uh, whether it's a temple, uh, whether it's a mosque, uh, these are places of, of holy worship and they should be respected as such. What, what can be done to reduce night crime and would you like to see states introduce uh, tough stop and search laws? 
Well, I know some of the premiers are talking about that uh, at the moment. That's, that's an issue for the premiers. If they think the laws need to be tightened, uh, then of course we would support that. Uh, and if there are laws that need to be changed or tightened at a federal level, uh, then we would certainly offer bipartisan support to uh, the sensible reforms that the government has uh, to put on the table as well. Yeah, look, I'd, 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 support, uh, I'd support the Prime Minister's uh, uh, generous offer. And, uh, look, we, we are an incredible success story and uh, we shouldn't be afraid of wanting people to come to our country who are the best, uh, the best people. And when you look at those images of uh, that young tourist or young French citizen standing at the top of the escalator with the bollard, uh, putting his own life at risk to protect others, uh, he, he embodies the the Anzac spirit and we would want people of that character in our country so uh, I think it's a good uh, good call by the PM and very happy to support it.